next on the web. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Commissioner, thanks for being here. I'd like to talk about the employee retention credit. Uh, this was a part of the CARES Act, and obviously uh, the congressional purpose in it was to encourage employers uh, to keep employees on their payrolls during the, the pandemic and the lockdowns. Um, in December of last year, Congress made some changes to the credit to try to enhance its usefulness. Um, and it, one of the purposes there was to retroactively allow employers who took PPP loans uh, to be eligible for the credit. Uh, given the economic strain caused by the pandemic, it's obviously incredibly important that businesses are incentivized uh, to both rehire and to retain their excellent employees. Can you just discuss a little bit the IRS's implementation of this credit as well as any efforts uh, you're making to retroactively provide refunds to businesses that became eligible because of the December change, please? Yeah, where we can, we do recoveries. But with respect to the retention, um, I think that we've actually processed, we actually received around 56,000. I think we processed about 47,000. Um, many of them that were rejected were rejected because they otherwise filed the 941. And so rather than getting the advance, they should have it with respect to the 941 itself. But we've been processing those as quickly as possible. So help me, help me understand that on the 941 point, because we're hearing about this from some Nebraska businesses. The, were your numbers 56,000 applied and 47,000 50, About 56,017 or something like that received. And I think we've processed about 47,000 of those. And um, which would leave a, a current pool, if I'm correct, of about 10,000. I'll get you the specific numbers, but that's the numbers that uh, I recollect as of within the last week or so. Okay, so are you, but as the 10,000, uh, is that just a backlog, or do you mean those are people who applied for it on both sides and they should have only applied on one? Some of the 47,000 are folks who have applied for both sides and were given. Uh, information back indicating that they, you know, if you've already done a 941, it comes on the 941, not the um, 7200. So we had that situation. And we can get you specifics. We have quite a bit of data here. And I know some other members of the committee have asked for questions in this um, space as well. So let me get you up to date, accurate data as far as um, the ones that are pending, while they, why they are pending, and then the ones that have been processed yet my term would be rejected, but why they were rejected, and we should be able to provide that for you in short order. That would be great. I'm, I have three follow-up questions in that lane, but I'll just wait for your data because you're probably going to speak to what I was going to ask there. So then I'll just conclude by asking, could you give us a, a bit of a status check on the interaction between you all, uh, your a, the IRS, and the Small Business Administration? on whether or not we think we're adequately explaining to small businesses and to their tax advisors um, any complications in this space. Just give us a, a status report on the interaction between the two agencies. Again, you know, let me, let me put that in two pieces. One, somebody who was in private practice for 36 years. Two, somebody who's uh, with the government. I think the government view is that we do really great with respect to outreach. And this is not to be disparaging of anybody in our, you know, communications and other departments or for SBA or for others. But we sometimes are um, narrow focused on the lanes that we know or the lanes that historically our agency has been in. And certainly with respect to you know, PPP and, and other issues that have come up during the pandemic, those lanes are not sufficient to actually get the information out to members of the public. I think we've done well in terms of outreach beyond our normal lanes. But um, I, I think we all would agree we could all do better. And uh, we constantly try to do better. We, uh, we have modified, you know, we had lessons learned from March of last year through June of last year through September of last year through today. Um, we're doing things better. Our outreach is better. And, um, you know, that's kind of what I would give it. I, I, and I get it on the outside why some people in certain lanes say, hey, I just didn't know this. And, you know, I had that in private practice as well. So um, I, I can only really say that we are trying our best. Um, we do think from an agency perspective that we've done amazingly well, but every time somebody did not get something, obviously that calls out right. that they could do better. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm at thank time, you. but uh, thank you for being here. We'll follow up. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. And we will next move to Senator Bennett. Thank you, Commissioner. 